check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. This was Padre's idea. And, <laughs> and, we'll see that. and he's so exhausted, <laughs> he can't finish that sentence. Hey guys, so I'm here with a good good friend of mine, Sean. Sean, you've been on a pretty incredible faith journey the last two, two and a half years. Um, we've just been up shooting some pretty cool drone footage and you get a, after, after the long walk, long, long walk up the hill, you get a real different perspective, don't you, from being right up on top of the hill, say to here. Like here, you would look around and think, yeah, it's not that great, but you get up on top of the lookout and it's just amazing the actual footage you get. Can you share um, with us a little bit about how has your perspective on life changed since you've come to faith? So, for anyone that suffers from depression and anxiety and all the rest of it, and my story is no different from a lot of other people's out there, um, <coughs> it likes you to be alone and in the dark and all on your lonesome because that way it can control you more. Since I've come to faith, I have felt so much more connected to to nature, the people, yep. to, to the whole, to the world basically, because this is all God's miracle. Mm. And you can't beat it. I mean, look at it. Yep. Yeah, and, and all you want to do is you just want to be out there in it. Like you want to connect with people. Like I've never had to, I've never felt the need to connect with so many people so, and so yep. often, ever. So, so, so before coming to faith, a lot of your time was isolated, right? Yep. Like just, and, um, yep. And that's often the case, isn't it? When yeah. people suffer from anxiety and or depression, um, they want to isolate and, and not connect. So so what you're telling us is, since coming to faith, you found, how, how would you describe it? What would be the difference to wanting to connect now? Are you nervous about it? Is there, or does it feel like it comes easy? It, it comes a lot easier because when I was first diagnosed with my depression and anxiety, the psychiatrist also said that I, I'm high-functioning autistic. Yep. And 
autism is, is, is very much where you, you've got to be it's regimented. You prefer your own company. It's like it's a more extreme version of introversion. Yeah, gotcha. introverted. Yep. So since coming coming to faith, I'm finding myself. I'm still a lot introverted. That's no, that's probably never going to change. But having said that, I can handle what's going on outside a bit better. I am a little bit more extroverted in that I want to talk to people more. Um, admittedly, I still prefer a smaller group to a large, sure. huge group of people. But I'm more comfortable in that smaller group. Like that group is not just like one and two people now. Yeah, gotcha. It, it's four, five, six. It's, well, yeah. it's the club. Yeah, yeah. So long ride has obviously been a big part of yeah. that for you. Um, you come with me to the Granary Church, that's yep. your home church in Newcastle, which is exciting. And um, I see you talking to people there and actually feeling quite comfortable um, talking with people, which is wonderful. If you had to share one thought or one encouragement to someone who's out there at the moment who might be struggling with depression or anxiety, who maybe they don't have faith, they haven't, they haven't found what you found, what would be your encouragement to them? Try and connect with someone that's been there. Yep. And has on started their journey. And it might not necessarily be a faith journey. Yes. I mean, everyone has, because I believe that, that faith has helped me, and, and it's because of my faith that I am where I am now. Sure. Um, some people might struggle with that, but like you keep on saying, it, people, there's just two kinds of people there people that have faith and have found God, and there are people that haven't found God yet. Yep. And those people that haven't found God yet are the ones that you really want to try and connect to because it makes so much of a difference to your Definitely. life. And, and the reality is that God's perspective is that we're all these kids, but some haven't connected with yeah. him. So it's like being adopted. Um, we've all been adopted into the, the kingdom of God. And some kids, yeah. guys and girls, just don't know that they've got this adopted father who's got grace and love and mercy and full of forgiveness um, for them. And you've discovered that, which has been exciting. So, um, so thanks for sharing with us today. And um, guys... You know, find faith. Look for people of faith to be around. Look for people who can encourage you, who can inspire you, and who can really lead you in the right direction. So bless your heaps. And it sound right, boys.